road. We are en route to the Highlands and the NC500. Um, it's been a an adventure already because we got in the van a couple of days ago to find that the tap was leaking. So trying to source the part has been um, a challenge. Hello, well, it's Boxing Day and we're just prepping for the North Coast 500 trip that we're starting tomorrow. It's touch and go as to whether we're going at all. Um, so here's Omen Tree 3 and here is, luckily, as you know, the Omen Trude and Friends is us and my sister Nikki and Paul. And luckily, we got him up Boxing Day morning with Ollie Van to come out and solve a little problem. So, um, so who knows? So it's touch and go at the moment. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. on day one of the trip. Unfortunately, we're in a position where we've got to fix these pipes off to see if I can find one of those. Let's see. Nothing's open, of course, because it's now day after Boxing Day, so uh, we're in the Solent area. So someone suggested on the Van Life um, Facebook group that we should try Chandlery. Now we used to have a yacht, so we we know Chandlery's pretty well, and they're um, pretty good at this sort of thing. So we'll uh, we'll head off down there, see how we get on. Well, the lights are on. That's a good sign. On the website, I can only see the ones, the pressure switch ones, not the uh, micro switch ones. So we'll see. See you later. Okay, so we've drawn a blank there. It is day two of the van saga. The part arrived, finally. Well, not finally, it was on good time actually. And uh, Paul's in there doing what he does, what he does best, to get us back on the road. It's not the ideal thing we could get from, uh, from Amazon, but it does do the job. And then maybe we'll see if this is a perm permi fix or, but we'll take it up to Scotland and see how we get on. As I say, we're still right on the south coast of England at the moment, so, uh, so it's going to be a busy day. And then all of a sudden there was a little glimmer of hope and we thought actually maybe we will get away so then all the decks started getting pulled down and putting away and the fridge started getting emptied and dispatching to her neighbours and yeah so it was all good but thank you very much to Ollie Van, Paul Butler, our brother-in-law, he is an absolute legend to come out Boxing Day and today to sort us out, that's just literally couldn't ask for more. Bless him. Fixed. Next time you'll see him in holiday mode. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Absolute lifesaver. and we're heading up we think probably to Coventry today to stay at a brick stop I think tomorrow the plan will be to get up early get on the road and get up to Edinburgh and then we'll have only missed a day of our holiday yeah, but, um, yeah. yes it was quite an interesting night in the pub <laughs> the malt shovel <laughs> Come on, Keisha, in the pub. The um, rope shovel. Okay. Uh, bl what's it called? Blun Blubbernal. 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 Blubbernal? 
I don't know. We'll yeah, put I think it, so. We'll put it near there. Coventry. Yes. And so we headed up. It was like two and a half hours or so. And we made it to this pub, which is a Brit stop. And um, really nice people. Hmm. I mean, it couldn't be more accommodating. They they welcomed us. They came out and showed us our little pitch in the car park. Um, and then we went in for a meal, which I always think if you're doing a Brit stop, you really need to go in and eat if you can. Yeah, I don't think it's fair going in places and not yeah. um, not paying your way, really. No. Uh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, we met some proper characters. Really, yes, really. Char <laughs> Let's call them characters, characters. shall we? I think that's the right way to put Characters. it. Yes, yes, from but, a different time. Yes, from a different time, and they did say, um, "Welcome to the nineteen seventies." No, <laughs> no, to the um, whatever I called it, blub 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 blubbernal, um, humour. So yeah, it's good. <laughs> that's fine. And know. the food was nice. Mm. They didn't have a lot in stock because it's between Christmas and New Year and you've got to take that into consideration. But what we had, I had salmon and noodles and teriyaki sauce and that was amazing. Really nice. What did you have? Not what you Not ordered, what I ordered, but... Um, I ended up with a chicken parmo. Uh, I actually ordered uh, um, a southern fried chicken mm. bun. They were mortified that they got it wrong, but actually it was... It's very it was nice. nice. So they yeah. couldn't be more sorry that they got it no. wrong. But yeah, we're not that sort of people anyway, so we just said it's fine. No. Good. So that's it. It'd be a very long movie if we do this every day. But yeah. uh, yes, but that's the sum up of the day. So we're having Cheers. an early one. Cheers and uh, see you later. Tell me what's this place? It's Two Bay Services and it's supposed to be dog friendly, but it's only dog friendly in the foyer. It is literally grim up north. We're currently in the Yorkshire Dale, which is north. Yeah. Oh, no, that's boggy. That's boggy. How's the soup? Oh, nice. Nice, I believe the term is champion. It's champion. <laughs> it's mint. <laughs> <laughs> it's mint soup. It's like really homemade, lovely carrot and coriander soup. This is from this, what's it called? Tea Bay? Tea Bay Farm Shop and Farm Kitchen. Mm. Nice in there. Within the Yorkshire Dales. Cool. And the hot tip is that if you're going to get fuel, go in and get something. Spend 15 quid in the farm shop. Or the farm kitchen and get 10p off a litre. Okay. Which is also champion. <laughs> Isn't it, Keisha? Day two of the tour. Day two. And we've done hundreds and hundreds of miles. We started off at half past six this morning in Coventry. Near Coventry. Yeah. Near Coventry. And um, we're in Edinburgh. The Eastbound Expressway, we've got some 
Your destination is on the left. Obi, Obi. All right then. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Where are we off to? We're going to Edinburgh. Give me back. Kilts. <laughs> Peter. What's that? No. Mm -hmm. We don't want the turn, do we? No. Peter. The bus. Oh no, that's not your bus. Your bus is, bus is just pissed off elsewhere. Yeah, Kisha! The moment that I recommend you, I think this is the best way to do it. I think Uh, put lots of well, layers of clothes on <laughs> and driven here from Portsmouth. Where did we go? We went to see Greyfriars Bobby. Oh yes, Greyfriars Bobby. And we need to read up about that. It was a dog who sat on the grave yeah, for a long time. He did. He died when he was 16. And you could leave sticks there. Very sad. Headed to the shops and bought tartan basically. So we bought I bought a little um, kilt. Well not a little. And a coo. A wee kilt. A, a wee kilt. Mm. And a wee coo for um, our granddaughter. And what else? Oh so other bits and pieces, more tartan and Mm. All sorts. We didn't stay for dinner because we thought we'd get back to the campsite because it's about half an hour, isn't it, the bus? <laughs> yes, number 27, <laughs> if anyone wants to do that. Yeah, right into the centre of Edinburgh. Then we had a little walk around, did what we wanted to do, went back to the bus stop and we convinced ourselves that we could get on the bus the same side as we got off the bus because we... Well, that's not exactly what happened. Okay. I convinced myself and you said we should get the same number bus on the other side of the road. I did say that. So I said, well, let's ask the driver. <laughs> so I asked the driver and he went, yeah, yeah, it just goes around in a loop. <laughs> oh, fine. What he didn't tell us is that the loop was pretty much... He must have gone back to Coventry on his way round. Why not only that? He a was hours. a bit of a. Uh, what would we? How would you describe him? Um, insane. <laughs> well, <laughs> he was a bit challenged in some way because he literally must have told three sets of people <clears throat> that were not getting on his bus, and mm. there was lots of waggy fingers involved. <laughs> yeah, mind you. To be fair, two of them did jump out in front of him to stop the bus. <laughs> yeah, so that is true. Them, Keisha's found this new place. She kind of dries herself all over the dashboard and then kind of tries to hide round behind the driving seat by the pedals. That's where she's sleeping. Keisha, don't hate us. We've come north. I know it's not the sunshine you're used to, but I'm going to harden you up. Onwards and upwards, so tomorrow, more of a lay in, so not at five o'clock. Yeah. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to we're going to hunt down some LPG first. Don't really think we need we need any, but we've been advised that you don't really want to go into the Highlands without them preparing yourself to not be able to get anything, which includes making sure your fuel tanks are, are, are fully fully up. So, um, yeah. oh, what I meant to say was, honestly, Edinburgh at Christmas time was absolutely magical wasn't it mm. beautiful they had the most yeah. amazing Christmas market 
but like a, it was like a German Christmas market, so they had mulled yeah. cider and mulled wine. But the actual pictures. the setting and everything was was very nice. Yeah, it was lovely. They had a great big Ferris wheel, and yeah. Edinburgh looked stunning, didn't it? It was yeah. really beautiful. Yeah. I've got some. We'll show you some pictures um, of our little visit today, won't we? Yeah, but it was really stunning. But uh, yeah, so we recovered the trip. So from the uh, various disasters we spoke about on on the water system. Um, we're actually back on plan as of today. Hello, and now the news. Severe flooding causes road and rail disruption in Scotland. Flooding has caused travel disruption across Scotland after heavy rains in many parts of the country. Several rail services were cancelled and sections of the M9 and M74 motorways have been closed. The Scottish Environment Protection Agency, SEPA, or SEPA, issued flood warnings in central and southern areas. There were fears that communities in southern Scotland could be badly hit as river levels rise, leading to a potentially significant event. And now to return you to the programme. Hello. Hello. You come for the polar expedition version. <laughs> no, good showers though. I really can see. Hot and hot and powerful. That's all you want. I'm going to take a slightly different approach. I'm going to take the Highlander approach because uh, there's kind of no point in not getting wet. So I'm going to. I've got on the full Highlander. So, Lovely. Um, see how I get on. It's actually light now. So, there you go, I thought being in Scotland no one's going to worry about me walking along like this, are they? So, I'm off to the shower. So, I'll give you a run with the campsite too. So, I'm not very good at these things. Fog's over there. Bunch of vans. Um, campsite. Like shoes or? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. You look like you've dried out a bit. Yes. Um, you may notice that we're back on pitch 88. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, this isn't like an epilogue and we've done the NC500 and come back. <laughs> um, we're going to show you why in a second, but suffice to say, we're staying here another night. This is uh, Lock Campsite. Yeah. Car's just gone through it, and you couldn't see the bottom of the car. No, I wasn't going to put the fan through that. Life's an adventure, and you've just got to. So anyway, we're chilling out. We're chilling out here. We've got wine. We've got Yay, wine. A, a chili that I've already cooked and bought with chili. us. And we've got rice, and and we're not going to starve. And so we can have a duvet day. Yay! <laughs> The islands from here. Wait for a caravan or a caravan to come along and then we can see how deep it really is. Yeah. How's that, Kishi? Wait for that. that 
but um, if you're planning a trip this time of year over Christmas to have spares um, for any sort of eventuality because you just never know what's going to go wrong so um, yeah but we're, it's all good we only lost a day um, how's Keisha? Keisha how are you? Are you, are you all good? yeah Keisha's the same as usual she didn't want to leave the house but now she's in the van she probably won't want to leave the van so anyway let's go and have an adventure we're really excited and we want to take you all around the NC500 and um, and have an adventure and hopefully it's not too snowy but a bit snowy we want a bit of snow anyway see you later bye This is the caravan.